WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We have all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 231, about 7 tenths of a percent. S&P's off 9 tenths or 35 points. 1% for the NASDAQ 100, 144 points there. The Russell's down 22. Semi's off 81. Tranny's down 178. Gold is trading out at 1971. That's off 3 bucks. Silver's down 9 pennies, trading at 23.37. Light Street Crude is up 44 pennies. 71.99 is the print there. 6 pennies to the upside for natural gas and a 30 treasury. Basically flat. It's off 4 ticks. Printed out at 126.26. Let's go take a look at the 9 panel. Market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. What do we know about it? Well, yesterday was a sell the D point pattern out here. And now what we have is a price pulling back into its bullish structured support area. That level is between 4076 and 4105. That area is likely to be targeted because we now have that spot volatility well above its 50 day exponential moving average. Looks like a pretty decent uh, move today. We'll have to check to see if that rate of change is above plus 10%. In the case of the NQ, it has a TD9 count top, and price right now is pulling back in to test one level of support. The first level of support, the new profile that we looked at yesterday, did take hold. That first level of support is at 13,570. We're trading right now at 13,572. If 13,570 fails, 13,505 will be next up. If 13,505 fails, then it's 13,375. So those are the areas to be watching. U.S. dollar index right now is about ready to negate its TD9 count top. And a close today above 103.49 will do just that. That will suggest higher price. Goldilocks still trading with inside its consolidation. Also trading with inside that bullish structure daily profile that formed yesterday. I do not have a bottoming pattern, but sometimes pulling back to the bottom of consolidation is a bottom. And that's what we have to take a look at with gold. With regard to its profile level, support range between 1963 and 1982, and resistance up at 2038. In the case of silver, it has a TD9 count bottom that formed yesterday. If it closes below 2323, well, it'll negate that signal and suggest even lower price. Light Speed Crude did close above the center of its bullish structure daily profile yesterday. That signals to you and I price should move up to 7770. In the case of natural gas, it is still holding. That area where a counter trend move to the downside would find support. And that level's at 251. We're trading right now at 255. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.